Oh yeah, that one. All right, guys, just messing around with the controls on this thing. A little bit confusing, like I said, since there's no app. And for whatever reason, I can't get this remote to work very good. I even changed the battery, so not sure what's up with that, but I'll try it again in just a minute. Okay, so it is time for the stress test. Let me show you the mess like always. We've got some chips, rice, 12 jelly beans total, six on the carpet, six on the hardwood. As you can see, as always, quite a bit on the hard floor. Very good amount on the carpet. Now, if you watched the last test with this thing, it did have a lot of trouble picking up jelly beans, so I wonder if we're gonna have all 12 jelly beans at the end of this test. What do you guys think? So this thing impressed me quite a bit with that last test. So I'm gonna let it run for 30 minutes on its normal suction mode instead of using max just to see the difference. If for some reason it does a really bad job, I'll redo this test on max suction, but I think it's gonna do pretty good. Plus it sounds like a freaking jet engine on max mode and it's extremely loud, but. All right, well, let's send this guy out. I'm gonna do right at 30 minutes again, like I said, and it's got quite the job to clean up. However, I think, I really do think it's gonna do a good job. These small areas, almost all these random navigation robots do incredibly well in 30 minutes. The next up after this test, Shark Ion. Everybody knows how much I hate the Shark IQ and the Shark AI, but I will say I do think this random navigation Ion is actually gonna do a great job, I really do. It's got a big bend. It's got everything that it needs to do a good job in a small area, so that's up next. I think that one I'm finally gonna praise a Shark product. I'd be very surprised if I don't. Anyways, back to the better robot, the Coral One. So let's go ahead and send this guy out. So that is definitely the normal suction mode. Let me just, if, the, if this is your first video, I'll just show you real quick the difference, if the remote works. Yeah. Quite a bit louder. How do I get you off turbo mode? You're already on it. Why are you going on it again? Eh, you know what? We'll leave it on turbo. Why not? I've done all the other tests on high suction power for the stress test, so we might as well do this. I'll just have to put on some headphones. <laughs> just really that loud. And with it cleaning for 30 minutes, it honestly, it gets pretty annoying. This thing has amazing suction power, no joke. It kind of looks like it's starting with an edge clean. Which is surprising, because it didn't do that in the last test. That would be really cool. I mean, look how good that path is. It's spotless already. Jelly bean. Yeah, this thing's gonna have nothing but trouble with the jelly bean. No, it, it forced it up in there. That's good. So maybe it'll be able to get it on the carpet. Let this guy go 30 minutes. I'll come back and take a look at how well it did. I honestly think it's going to do really good with this type of suction power. 
If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. Please do me a favor, like and subscribe. And I got a ton more vacuum related videos coming out along with a whole bunch of other tech related items too. So it should be a lot of stuff coming and I would love for you to join. I will be back when this is done. Enjoy. Alright guys, I've let it go for about 40 minutes or just under. And I believe it was looking for its dock, but it completely pushed it out of the way. Just like the last test, which is kind of odd. Not sure why it's doing that. You think it would be able to tell where the dock is and avoid murdering its own dock. So let's take a look at how it did. 40 minutes, that's quite a long time. Remember, I did wind up putting it on this high suction mode. And uh, let's take a look. So the carpet. The carpet looks pretty good, I would say. Really, the carpet almost, almost looks perfect with the exception of, you know, there's a few grains of rice over here. A few uh, Doritos here. But now for the negative. So whatever reason, it was just too much debris, I guess, compared to the last test, obviously, because this is the stress test. It did not do so great. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure it was going back to the dock to recharge. Or it thought the job was done. So a lot left on the hard floor. Which is a shame. A lot more than I thought because it did really good on the smaller test, but this was just too much debris for it to overcome, I think. And let's check out the jelly beans. I can see on the hard floor, there's one there, another one there, two more over there. Looks like it picked up two of them on the hard floor. However, the ones on the carpet are all gone. Nope, I take that back. I pushed two of them over here. So basically that's six out of the 12 jelly beans, which is sadly to say probably, which is actually the worst 
out of any of the robots tested on the stress test, even though, oh, I hate to even say this, even the Shark IQ did better on the jelly beans. However, it made it sound like a freaking engine, which is so loud. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I, I have to say, I'm, and sadly, I have to say it, it failed the stress test. As far as the stress test, this is the worst job out of, this is like robot number 16, I believe. So it's the worst job out of 16. And that's kind of a shame because I had high hopes when I did the, just the initial test. All right, what do you guys think? Please let me know down in the comments. Did it do, well, obviously it did worse than we all expected, I think. And 40 minutes, I let it go a little bit longer than I typically do. And it was on the highest suction mode. So that's, that's kind of a bummer. Let's go ahead and check out the dirt bin real quick. Sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. You can see a bunch of stuff in there, of course. Let's pop this open. Once again, extremely strong suction. I dumped this out before the test. And look at all the carpet fibers and dust. It's still pulled out of the carpet. It just did the normal test you saw last night. So not even 24 hours later, pulled out that much more dust and fine debris, which is quite good. What I was going to do, if this only left a little bit in like the corners and stuff, I was going to yank this out and, and be like, oh yeah, and I can clean this up real good, but that's just a little bit too much to do that with. So that's kind of a bummer. What is that you guys ask? Oh, you want to hear the, the lisp again? If you're in a bad mood ever, just just come get grab your Cora one and push this button twice. Insert the dustbin. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that cracks me up. Anybody else laugh at that? All right, guys. Well, that is gonna wrap up the Coral one stress test. Unfortunately, it did not pass. It probably did the worst out of all of them. Sadly to say. Um, it ran for a little bit longer too on the highest suction. I do think it cleans well. It pulls a lot of fine debris out of the carpet. So I'm not really sure what to give this guy. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. So I love how different this robot is and it has a lot of cool features, but then again, it's missing a ton of stuff that some of the newer, cheap, even cheaper robots have such as an app, a simple app at all any type of navigation at all it's a little bit too tall so it can't go underneath your couches it can't clean underneath your kitchen cabinets it might have trouble with some chairs that might have the connecting rail in between them but i gotta give it points for being super unique having a handheld vacuum built into a robot vacuum is very cool i just i don't know i really don't know how to rate this I like it a lot, but then again, I don't. Now, would I personally recommend this if this is your first robot vacuum you've ever used? Sadly, I think I'd have to say no. It's very cool, very unique, but I think there's much better options out there. Let me know in the comments once again if you guys agree. Let me know what other test you would like to see with this guy, whether it be in handheld mode or the full vacuum. And if you haven't already, please smash that like button, subscribe, and lots more videos coming. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.